Now, there was a report um, last week that maybe Nick Cesario um, would jump after the draft to the Patriots and that maybe Adam Peters would be his replacement with the Texans. There's a report today that Cesario says he's not going anywhere after the draft and that he's staying with the Texans. So that's kind of an interesting thing. What do, what do you make of that report? Mike Silver of the Chronicle kind of doubled down saying that, you know, Adam Peters was the targeted replacement. And, you know, this this rumor had multiple layers and would reunite Peters and, and D'Amico Ryans in like a San Francisco South situation there. What do you think? I mean, I've, it, you think it's still in the cards or what do you think of the report now that Cesario – says he's not going anywhere. Yeah, no. When I first came out, I laughed because I was like, okay, this is just, you know, people throwing rumors out. Again, it's the low part of the offseason. People need some stories and this and that. So Casario today, what he says, he goes, I'm almost embarrassed that he has to basically say that he's not leaving. He said, um, I feel, he says, he, I feel sort of like Leonardo DiCaprio and Wolf of Wall Street. I'm not leaving. So he goes, there's no substantial evidence to this thing. So he shot it down. And the whole Adam Peters thing, I remember, I was like, why is he really – mentioning it because okay first off if Casario was to leave he obviously Peters would probably be the first name that's gonna be thrown around because everybody wants him as a GM if I'm a team that's looking for a GM of I would look into uh Adam Peters he's great at what he does and D'Amico and him have some you know history as they you know work together for the 49ers so it makes sense that they would throw that out there but if you remember in January Adam Peters already turned down multiple offers I think from like the Cardinals and a couple other teams to be their GM because he's happy at where he's at. So I think right now he's content. He already turned down those offers. So that's why I was like, well, I don't even think he would even entertain it. And the 49ers are still on the cusp of a Super Bowl roster. You know, like we said, they have all these other great players around the quarterback situation that we're still trying to figure out. But CMC, Bosa, Kittle, Debo, all these great highly paid players. Trent Williams, Warner. Like You'd be silly to leave this roster for a team like Houston when the 49ers have a great chance of winning a Super Bowl in the next two years. They can figure this quarterback situation. So I didn't think there was any substance to Adam Peters leaving. Again, people are going to throw his name out because, of course, he would be a top candidate anywhere for any team that's losing a GM. That's kind of my thought on it. And then I laughed when, you know, Casario shot it down. He was like, I can't believe I even have to say this. So, yeah, that was my take on it. And you can officially you know, squash just- the, the you know the didn't Peters come to the Niners because he was a Bay Area guy who wanted yeah. to come home? I mean, that yeah. the idea that he would just run to Texas to Houston, nonetheless. I mean, I I don't to me there may not be a worse climate. <laughs> I don't know if you've ever been how much time you've spent in Houston, but it's uh, it's not necessarily a choice destination as far as as far as uh, nice weather. Uh, but I, th- I just think I thought Peters was kind of the the hand picked replacement for Lynch. Whenever Lynch decides to either do whatever else he wants to do, kick himself upstairs, whatever his next move is, I thought Peters was kind of the thought to be the next guy in ch- in charge here. So that would surprise me if he jumped. Yeah, absolutely. He's got it made right now. He knows he's like the draft guru for the 49ers. He's going to continue to increase his stock with the 49ers. And the day, let's say the 49ers win the Super Bowl, John Lynch, if he jumps and becomes an announcer again or a commentator or whatever he does with the Amazon, or if he becomes a president or whatever happens to him, Adam Peters is the natural guy to replace John Lynch. It's, he's waiting in the wings. So he, And like you said, he his family lives in Cupertino. So he's getting paid a lot of money to be close to his family and destroy the draft he's he's doing well 